dream come true for me from a small town in Iowa. Graduated with 32 people. Be coaching the best basketball conference in the country against the best coaches. So I'm literally looking forward to the challenge. Coach Forbes built an impressive resume in Johnson City with 130 wins, winning at least 24 games each season he was on the job. Basketball is all about rivalries. And everybody that knows anything about basketball knows that the rivalry on Tobacco Road is the most intense you know, in the United States now and historically. And just to be a part of something like that, is, it means the world to me. Oh, I know people don't think we're going to finish high, but we're looking to win. We plan on winning. We have no doubt that we're able to do that. Um, Forbes always tells us, he's like, I didn't come to do a long-term rebuild. I came to win year one. He's got a perfect blend, in my opinion. Um, you've got a lot of new players. you got some returning players. you got some new coaches, and you got like a returning coach and Coach Chill and people that have been around. A lot of those guys are local guys. Pretty much everyone uh, that's coming in is from North Carolina with the exception of Jonah, who's from Australia. So um, you're not gonna be from North Carolina, came from pretty far, but they all like have the lay of the land in terms of, uh, with their college basketball experience. Jalen, extremely athletic, great scorer. He might, as a wing, he might lead the ACC in shot blocks. Like that dude can, I can shoot him from, shoot him from three. He's jumping from the, the block on the inside. And he might be able to get, tip it. Ian's a really aggressive scorer. Uh, he's can do everything. That's my roommate, so not to be too biased, but Ian's really good. Um, everything on the court, strong guy, and his his confidence is I can see it growing even more and more as he gets used to the way we, at, the use of the way we play here. Jonah, lightning quick shot, bucket. He can get hot, hot, and uh, there's going to be a few games this year where he just goes off and has like six or seven threes and. It's the difference maker. Chico, that's what we call Isaiah Wilkins. I don't know why he just got that nickname, but that's what we all call him. And he's strong and he's smart, makes the right play. Um, and he's had ACC experience already, so he, he kind of knows what's going on here. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. I think he didn't really get the opportunity um, he needed to his last year at Tech, so I think he's motivated as well. Um, and him and Davian both being from Winston, not just North Carolina, but from Winston. Um, like, they're motivated to play home. Davian, like I said, he, from Winston, hometown hero is what we call him. Um, he, he's good. <laughs> like, I don't know it, how to say, put in the words exactly what he can't do. Like, he's small, but man, he can shoot it. He'll get hot. Um, he plays together as a team. He's one of those guys that you can move between guard positions because he can be the facilitator or he can score. Like. I'm excited to see. I hope, I don't know if he's got his waiver yet, but I hope he gets it because he can definitely um, be a big time piece for our team. They know what Forrest wants. Like, Davian and the coaches can guide us along and give us an idea because we haven't, he's only been around a few months and um, obviously we couldn't even see Coach Forbes till July or August whenever everyone got here. Having the coaches there and Davian who've been with him for a while to help us figure out where, where his pulse is at and what he wants from us exactly has been super helpful and, and I think that's made the transition a lot smoother than it would have been otherwise. And the, the new coaches, I'm really like Coach Mackey, Coach Savage, Coach Davis, and all the support staff are awesome. Um, and they've done a great job of reaching out to us and building relationships with us, so we're a lot more comfortable with them as well. I think like last year we showed that we can beat anybody, we just have to do it more consistently. And I think with the changes we're making, we're going to be ready to do that. I think we're just going to do it as a collective unit. You know, Brandon was definitely good to learn from. I've, I'm really glad that I got to cross paths with him. My first two years here, um, I was actually just talking to him. He's playing overseas in Greece now. Like, I'm rooting for him. But I'm excited to see what we're able to do as a, as a unit this year. Um, I know our team looks a lot different, but we're going to replace a lot of production as a collective unit. I think we're going to do the same thing with leadership. Like, everyone can step in. Um, when the time's right. Just working on shooting to where I'm like top of the line. Um, working on my ball handling to where I'm like confident coming off ball screens and just making sure I'm there defensively because it doesn't even matter what you do on offense. If you can play well defensively, you're going to get in the game. I think everyone is excited to see where Coach Forbes takes the program and um, puts his fingerprints on it. 
even if you know the media and people are kind of down on us, um, we're we're gonna blow away their expectations.